Michael Vick here at BetUS.com. Get it all. Huge bonuses, great odds, a race book, live in-game betting, and a casino. BetUS, my online sports book and casino. What's going on, Washington Commanders Nation? It's your boy, Rio Robinson, back with the latest and greatest on the Rambling with Rio YouTube channel, where we ramble about our Washington Commanders. Today is Friday, August 2nd, and we have now concluded our eighth day of practice for the training camp session of the offseason for the Washington Commanders. Bear with me today. There were very minimal updates coming out from Ashburn. It feels like we're going to be talking about who attended today's practice more than what actually took place on the practice field. I'm starting to believe that this is by design. Like there's been some sort of embargo that needs to be lifted for the type of information that comes out about practice because not even the fans are putting stuff out this year. But you know, we marked another day of practice, and to conclude today's week of practice, well, it's not going to conclude the week because I think there's going to be another practice tomorrow because they're going three days on, one day off, and we're going up to New York for joint practices next week. Jaden Daniels capped off what's been a phenomenal week and a phenomenal start to preseason. Dan Quinn spoke on that with NFL Network yesterday. He spoke with NFL insider Ian Rappaport and Mike Garofolo about Jaden's progress so far. But before we get into that, today's show and all shows are brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, fastest payouts in the business, fast and easy deposit with a 125% sign-up bonus for up to $2,000. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, you can find my unique creator link below in the description. Get out there and let's make some money on BetUS this preseason. This NFL season, it has all started. It all kicked off last night as the Texans and Bears took place in the Hall of Fame game, a game that ended up being called short due to inclement weather. We finally got to see what that weird-ass new kickoff process, kickoff return process is like. Hearing them speak the kicking rules out loud on the broadcast sounds like learning Mandarin. It sounds so fucking ridiculous. Honestly, they just need to show us rather than tell us at this point because it was one of the more confusing things I've ever heard. It felt like watching football for the first time. It was so hard hearing the commentators struggle through that description. But let's talk about practice, though. Dan Quinn, when speaking with Mike Garofolo and Ian Rappaport, NFL Network insiders yesterday, he said, he, he spoke so glowingly about our starting quarterback and our rookie, Jaden Daniels. I mean, they haven't named him yet, but you know the vibrations. He said Jaden has had a remarkable start to training camp, and he has the ideal blend of confidence and humility, and he has exceeded all high marks and expectations they've had for him thus far. He said it's more than just how he's throwing the ball. It's how he's setting up the offense. He's making the adjustments. He's making the pre-snap reads. And he's pretty much moving and performing like a veteran so far. Th this is glow. Like, we've seen so many quarterbacks come and go here, guys. We've seen so many quarterbacks. How many times have we seen coaches have to stand on a ledge and have to concoct some form of coach speak to compliment the quarterback, especially when it comes to the development of a young quarterback. Like we can all see that the guys are out there struggling and they're doing their best, but they love this guy. They love him. They had high marks when they drafted him and he's gone out there and checked all the boxes so far. It's going to be like the final box check once we get to joint practices versus a phenomenally talented team, the New York Jets next week. We'll probably know more about the starting quarterback situation. But the stars came out at practice today, as you can see, with my boy Josh Taylor on the screen. Kay Adams, up in Adams, former host of Good Morning Football, the heartthrob, one of the goats of NFL media that has Every NFL man fan in a chokehold. She was at practice today. My boy got a selfie with her. Got to get her on the show one day. I'm talking to her people, trying to work that out right now to try to get her on sometime this season. Josh even didn't post that much from practice today. And Josh has been boots on the ground all week. Kay interviewed Bobby Wagner and Dan Quinn. I'm not sure if she interviewed anybody else. My boy Wale was in the building today. DMV legend, rapper Wale. Oluba Wale for Lauren, if you're 
If you're hip, if you know, you know, he was at practice today. Nationals infielder Trey Limpscomb was at practice today. We stay with some people coming in and out of that building now. People actually want to be around. They want to be around the program. But speaking of practice, let's get into the little bit that they spoke about at practice today. Riley Patterson is going to be the kicker, according to Josh. I said this yesterday. If Ramiz Ahmed or Ahmed Ramiz, if he was the guy, if he had the kicker position locked up, I don't think they would have claimed an experienced kicker like Riley Patterson. Doesn't have the biggest leg in the game, but he's pretty accurate from short and intermediate. And if you've noticed over the years, we will take a kicker who can make the layups. Joey Sly was out here missing extra points and chip shot field goals that ended up costing us games. So I take the kicker position very seriously. I'm glad we brought in a veteran and they are doing so as well. B-Rob had a huge run up the middle and team drill. Would have been a touchdown for sure. Jaden ran down the field and hyped him up afterwards. We love to hear that. Uh, Tyler Owens, undrafted free agent out of Texas Tech, had another interception today. He's one of the undrafted free agents whose name you've heard on a very consistent basis since practice has started. He's been having a good training camp. Josh said he's always in position. Terry had a nice one-hander up the sideline from Jaden. He threw a dart to Ertz across the middle, and they did a lot of run and run fits and run scheme today. They didn't do too much. It feels like they weren't allowed to talk about anything today. Jaden with a nice QB draw up the middle. Really like how he waits for lanes. Even like Zach Selby wasn't really getting into it today. And you know, he's the he's the guy who writes the team practice notepad every day where he kind of summarizes everything that he saw in practice it doesn't really feel like anyone got too much of anything out there today he said some thoughts from wide receiver db one-on-ones alameda zacchaeus had a really nice catch against michael davis sandra still had a nice interception against crowder love that mikey sandra still has been very much so as advertised so far. Uh, Benjamin St. Jude's back healthy. had a pass breakup against Brown. Oh, and uh, Nikki Jabwala said Mitchell Tinsley put someone's ankles in a blender today, but she will not say who. That means it was Emmanuel Forbes. I have not seen that confirmed yet, but I am pretty positive that that means Emmanuel Forbes got put in a blender by not fast Mitchell Tinsley. So that's not great to hear. Chris Paul, Good Jones, and Dieter working through individual drills. A little chilly out here today, Zach Selby. You know damn well it was not chilly on the second day of August, first thing in the morning. It probably felt sticky. It probably did not feel phenomenal. Daniels looked really sharp in that last 11-on-11 11 11 drill. Only had one incompletion. And it was an, only a near miss. Also had a really impressive bobbling catch by Terry McLaurin near the sideline. So, Another day of practice, another day of the Jaden to McLaurin go ball connection, gaining steam, throw the ball to Terry. Good things happen when we throw the ball to Terry. I don't know what to tell you about the rest of practice. Riley Patterson went four or five. Ahmed, uh, uh, Raziz Hamed went four or five. Both kickers missed one field goal. That job is going to be completely solved during games, but that's really all we got from practice today. They didn't give us much of anything. Dan Quinn did a lot of yapping to the media before practice today. Emmanuel Forbes talked to the media after practice. Uh, Jeremy Quinn, uh, Dan Quinn talked about Jeremy Chin and how he's done an excellent job. That's going to be our starting strong safety, by the way. He said he's got real speed and length. Sam Cosby has been really consistent in camp so far that he's been a guard for a lot longer. That guy is looking for a Pro Bowl season, and he's looking for a contract at the end of the season. De uh, Derek Forrest and Andrew Wiley are two names to pay attention to because it feels like those guys could be on some type of bubble, some type of roster bubble. Defoe been running with the threes. Andrew Wiley has been supplanted by Cornelius Lucas, who missed time for a personal reason yesterday. Him and Trent Scott have been taking over the right side of the line. Andrew Wiley is being slowly phased out of that right tackle position. So that's all I really got from the practice today. You can scroll around and you can check all these guys' pages. There's no real information about practice. You had to be there to do it. And even the guys there aren't posting too much. This is a professional operation now. So 
if there was a year I could not go to training camp, it was probably this year because you know how I move at training camp. I would have been trying to record everything. And I've been seeing notifications on the commander's app saying you cannot record when the team starts running team anything. It is not the Ron Rivera, Dan Snyder era in D.C. now. K. Adams at practice. Wale at practice, a Washington national at practice. The governor was there the other day. Adam Peters and company are at practice. It's all good vibes in Washington. And through eight days of camp, the one thing I can say today is what we've been saying all week. The quarterback, once again, is stacking days. You don't hear anything about Marcus Mariota and Jaden's getting more first team reps as these days go by. They're slowly taking the training wheels off the boy. We know he's going to be the week one starter. Wait on it. Next week gets super real, and next week is very important about the development of Jaden Daniels when we actually get to see what he looks like versus another team. I'm not sure yet how Dan Quinn and company are going to handle the preseason games and divvy up the snap counts, but we get to see Washington go through full live reps in practice versus one of the top five defenses in the league, a stacked New York Jets defense with Sauce Gardner and company. I'm excited to see that. I want to see how Jaden, B-Rob, Eckler, Ertz, Sinnott, McLaurin, Luke, Dotson. I want to see how we look against another team and i'm praying for the preseason game next week we get to see at least one drive out of our starters i want to see Jaden daniels go break a quick sweat and then get pulled out of that game as soon as possible because like someone reminded me that turf at metlife does not play that shit is now claiming more achilles and acls than prime fedex field or formerly fedex field now commander's field that turf is no joke. We don't want Jaden running around on it too much. So I totally understand it if he doesn't play in that game. But that's all I got for right now. Eighth day of practice in the books. Very minimal reporting coming out of Ashburn. You see more about who attended practice today than what took place on the field. That's all I got for right now. Hopefully there's more information to come out tomorrow. You guys have a beautiful weekend and hail to our Washington Commanders. Until next time, Commander Rio, out.